Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you how you can download um, and access uh, the Sentinel uh, satellite data um, for your research or any analysis that you might be interested. So let's get started. So what's Sentinel? So Sentinel-2 is a European-wide uh, SWAS, uh, high-resolution, uh, multispectral imaging um, satellite, and um, it carries an optical instrument uh, payload that has uh, 13 spectral pants, bands, um, and off of this, um, four of them are uh, 10 meters partial resolution, the blue, uh, green, and red, and also the near infrared. Um, and the other six bands are 20 meters partial resolution, and three of these uh, 13 bands are at a 60 meters partial resolution, all right? So if you want more information about the Sentinel data, uh, go to the sentinel.esa, European Space Agency, dot int, uh, and then you can get more information. So let's get back to Earth Engine. So Earth Engine is a cloud uh, computing uh, platform hosted by Google, um, freely available for geospatial data access and also analysis. So let's just go to dataset on uh, Google Earth Engine. And when you go to Earth Engine, you have dataset list here. You can click up Sentinel here um, and scroll down. And then you can see uh, Sentinel-1 and Sentinel-2. We're interested on the Sentinel-2 instrument here. And then we have the top of atmospheric reflectance here. Um, and then the surface reflectance. We might need to use the surface reflectance. That's more the final um, uh, product, Sentinel product. So. Uh, as I mentioned, you have 13, um, you know, bands. Um, uh, each of the bands have, you know, specific, um, you know, uh, special resolution and whatnot. So uh, to start coding, let's just go to Earth Engine and Platform Code Editor. Um, and you'll have your code editor here. Let's get started coding. So let's try it, uh, download, download. Sentinel image, all right, and so that's the name of our tutorial. Let's just write a uh, title for Lord Sentinel image. Image. Okay, so let me create a variable called dataset. Um, and. So just get that actually from the uh, the image collection, as you can see here. Go back to Earth Engine and copy this image collection uh, and uh, paste it here. Okay. So once um, you have collect um, um, uh, um, imported the image collection here, um, you can do lots of you know filtering to um, find in the data. So once um, you import the image collection, let's perform some sort of spatial and temporal uh, filtering. Uh, that way, um, we're going to refine the data um, because this is a global data. And also in terms of time series, it's a, a long time series data. So we want to need to filter that. So the first filter that I'll, I'll be using is filter bound. Um, so what filter bound does is technically, um, uh, you know, clip the data by your study region, in this case, ROI, all right? Um, and then uh, we haven't created our region of interest yet, okay? We're just creating the function that imports um, the, the Sentinel image, right? And the next one is actually, um, you know, filtering uh, uh, clouds, all right? So filter, um, you know, clouds, um, to filter clouds, you're, you're going to need to um, uh, create a filter uh, metadata. And then you need to um, define the cloud coverage assessment. It needs to be capital. All right, so this will, this is information that you can get it from the Sentinel uh, metadata information. And then our parameter is less, uh, less than, 
All right. Uh, and then we need to define the last parameter here, uh, a number, which is the cloud percentage, right? So what this means is that, um, you know, give me, uh, you know, Sentinel image, uh, which has cloud contamination uh, less than 20%. All right. So that will get rid of all the, uh, you know, cloud, the image that are with um, huge cloud contamination, right? Uh, another filter is uh, filter data, right? So what filter data does is it will just provide you only the image with those specified dates. In this case, we're going to download um, data from January to June 1st for uh, 2022. All right. So filter uh, date and then a bracket here. Um, 2022 01 01. And that's our start date. And then we also need an end date for this. All right. Our end date will be same year. Um, 06, that's for June and 01, that means June 1st. All right. So we have applied um, temporal filter here. Let's also select the band that we're interested to use. In this case, um, select and then uh, bracket here specify the different bands here specify band four here band three and then the last one is band two that's kind of a true color combination and the last one is um, because we have multiple images we're gonna generate an aggregated um, image taking the median a pixel for each image layer, right? So we're gonna run a median such that we're gonna have one single image instead of the, you know, the entire image collection. Okay, so next thing is we haven't created yet our study area. So we, you can download Sentinel for any any given location on the planet, right? So let's just find New Me um, uh, Mexico City. Mexico let's just uh, do that one example let's go to Mexico City here um, so I'm gonna create here this is a, a drawing tool that Earth Engine provides um, if you want to draw a dot a line or a, a poly, irregular polygon a square in this case I'll just draw a square um, around Mexico City let's just check click there the pan zoom um, around Mexico City here um, you know fairly big size so this should be enough so I'll drag that. This is uh, Mexico City. All right. So this should be fine for my area. So that's a uh, region of interest. So let's just change, rename this into ROI. That way, it's just we're done with creating our region of interest. So once you create a region of interest here, you also see it here. So uh, if you click here, you can see that geometry here. So that's our region of interest in which we're using it here to apply a filter. What it means is that um, it's going to clip the uh, entire image um, to this area. So we're not uh, downloading data for um, uh, outside outside this box. OK. All right. So we haven't done anything until now. Just draw the function and created a, a region of interest um, because the Sentinel um, most satellite data they are stored in you know um, integer to uh, save um, storage space we're gonna apply a scale factor to convert that into um, a floating point so let's create a variable here uh, rescale um, our data set divide All right, so this will um, divide the, you know, each image or just the, the image to um, uh, by the scale factor. And then last one is to clip the image by our steady area. That way we're going to download only uh, image that's within the bounding box. So I'll create a variable clip image um, rescale clip and then ROI. Okay. All right. And let's actually um, create a display to display our image. Uh, 
uh, let's display sentinel image okay so I'll create a visualization parameter um, and a curly bracket here bands so I'll just uh, define the different bands that I'll be using in this visualization um, those are already defined earlier band uh, 4, 3 and band 2 right that's what we selected in our um, download a load image collection right okay and then within this visualization parameter I also need to define the minimum and maximum um, maximum parameter these are the minimum and maximum for our visualization based on the data uh, then the next one is to actually write the display function which is map add layer which will add the um, sentinel data to our map canvas below here um, so I'll copy this final clipped image and then load it here um, and then this parameter I have already created a visualization parameter here let's just call the layer name as sentinel 2022 true because it's a two color composite right and then a map center object that way we can adjust the zoom label about eight zoom label okay so let's just uh, execute this by clicking run here that will actually we can change this to um, 12 the zoom level I think uh, so probably 10 you can adjust the zoom level based on your um, comfort level in terms of what you like in terms of the zoom level or you can manually do that um, by zooming in and out right so excellent so now we have our um, Sentinel data we have already you know done lots of analysis right so we've done um, filter bound application we also have uh, removed cloud contamination we have uh, filtered it by date so this is six months of um, um, data and we have also selected the different spans that we're using and also generated an, ag an aggregate off of this image collection to generate one single image so this is our Sentinel image for New Mexico City all right so we can zoom in and you can see the you know the the sentinel image for New Mexico all right cool so the last um, bit of our analysis is to export that let's write an export function here export to drive all right so uh, Earth Engine has a built-in export function we're gonna use that export image drive all right let's just uh, create our function here so the export function has different parameters first one is image so our image is this one that clipped image that's what we want to export so we're gonna use that exact image here um, let us space here and then if you want uh, once you export the image if you want the if you want to display um, exactly this this um, um, color combination or as is here you can add visualization parameter and visualize and then add that visualization parameter that you define that way you don't have to create a symbolization in a GIS software such as QGIS or ArcGIS okay um, it also needs a description description you can say uh, sentinel 2022 that's the year of the sentinel data let's just put it in quotation sentinel 2022 here uh, and then the scale is the spatial resolution uh, we're gonna use 10 meter spatial resolution and then you need a region um, that means our region of interest in this case, right? We have already created the box. So that's about it So that's about it and then finally to close your statement export statement 
we're gonna do um, need to apply semicolon that's about it and let's execute that once you execute you're gonna um, have your uh, Sentinel image for New Mexico exported on your Google Drive okay excellent so once you click that the taskbar will uh, show a yellow sign and then you're gonna see that exact name here Sentinel 22 I'm gonna run that and when you do that it will show you uh, another um, window uh, pop-up window and then you're gonna click run and this will execute the download so one, this um, uh, running Earth Engine um, uh, is complete, you'll get a, a mark sign, and then you go to your Google Drive and then just um, um, open that data in, in QGIS or ArcGIS or any standard software. And so that's how you um, download the, the Sentinel data um, using the Earth Engine Cloud uh, platform.